Hello. On my last video I was talking about this book, Discover Your Baby's Spirit. Have you ever stopped to think what kind of person you are? This book is about the five types of children that are on this planet right now. There's the star, the hero, the indigo, the crystal and the liquid crystal child. This book is about how you were born with coding of one of these children, one here. And while you are growing up, you may be fitting in with all sorts of society, but you will be attracted to the same kind of people as you. People have the same kind of coding. So if you're a mother and you want to know what your children are like, this is probably the best book to get, even if I do say much so myself, because I don't know if anyone else has written about it. In this book, you'll find out all you need to know from before you ever get pregnant to what happens to you while you are pregnant to what happens to the spirit that is to be your baby coming into your body how you and your spirit of the baby and you blend how during the pregnancy to talk to your new baby what happens during the labor when your baby is being born what happens to your baby after he or she is born and then after that how to talk to them and help them grow up to become wonderful individuals all children born now are psychic I'm going to put this book down what I want you to realize is that we don't just turn up okay everything is planned you may say well I know my mother and I know my grandparents and in some cases I even know my great-grandparents what I'd like to open your mind up to is the fact that you actually know your ancestors line all the way back in time you as a spirit individual have met and known all these people in some form whether it's in the spirit world or in some other life and you have throughout your spiritual life you know that spiritual life spent time on earth learning something about yourself with all sorts of people now whether you believe in reincarnation or not it doesn't really matter what does matter is that we have to teach the children that are being born now how to live in this world of technology so many children are being born with parents who are working busily all the time so they're stuck in front of a tv or a computer and they're very isolated they're very alone gone are the days when children could run in the street and play joyfully without fear of being run over or being kidnapped or abused. Today the world is full of fear. Children are born into a world where they have to be super sensitive to their environment. These children are psychic. What does that mean? Their spirit consciousness is manifested in awareness of themselves all the way into their conscious mind. So as soon as they're able to talk, they're going to tell you that they see visions. They're going to tell you they can see the color of your aura. They're going to tell you that they know what heaven is like. They're going to tell you they can see dead spirits walking around your house. They're going to tell you if you're negative. They may even give you a message saying, don't worry, mommy, daddy, it's going to be fine. Things are going to get better. They seem to have an amazing ability to know what's right to do and what's wrong. That doesn't mean that they're always behaving themselves. In fact, sometimes they're going to do things they shouldn't do not because they're defiant, but because they want to prove to themselves that what they believe and what they think 
is their own truth is real. So learning the hard way is often something they do. Now if you're the kind of parent that doesn't know anything about the paranormal, you don't know anything about being psychic, and you've suddenly got a child who's telling you all these things, you're going to think that maybe they're insane, they're abnormal, or perhaps they need medicine to change their mind. Please don't do that. Please take time to think about this child you have, a child that you really love and care about. Stop and ask yourself, where is the spirit of my child? What is it like inside my child? How does my child see me? Make a point of reading as many books as you can about psychic ability so that you can begin to understand what it is. And if you get a copy of this book that I just held up, I'll hold it up again, okay? Discover Your Baby Spirit. In there, you'll learn a lot about what your baby's going through. And as you do, you're going to think, hey, that's been happening to me through the years. And this book is also an e-book, so you can download it and you can read it wherever you're traveling. I think that's a very unique and handy thing of this modern age. We as children, that's my generation, didn't have too many people talking about ascension or psychic skills and abilities. So if we went to the library, we were lucky if we could find something like Edgar Cayce or some books on Buddhism and spiritualism and that kind of thing, Catholic ideas and so on. But today, your children have a vast choice of all the different kinds of books that there are available for them to read. And of course, there's lots of material online. So I suggest that you spend time buying books that have lots of spiritual stories in them. Books that teach your child to have good levels of moral and ethic codes, and most importantly, encourages them to use their psyche in as many creative ways as possible. I know as parents you want your child to be the cleverest one in the class, you want them to get straight A's, you want them to go to the best universities and all the rest of it, but the truth is your child has already predetermined the kinds of things they want to do and over the years as they grow up they'll show you that very clearly. So if your child is more into sports and art, don't try and make them become a scientist because all you'll do is set them up to stop doing that at a later age and lose out on the creative experiences. Encouraging a child to have sports activities is very important. It's the way we socialize and children need to learn to socialize. So often we find today that children are set in corners, alone, separated. They can't get along with their friends. They don't know how to talk and chat. So they withdraw. They lock themselves in their bedrooms. They get on their computers and that's their world. It's a shame. We weren't born to be isolated. We weren't born to be shut off from the rest of the world. Right now as I speak to you. There are revolutions going on all over the world, especially in the Middle East. But even in London and England, people are rioting because they don't want things to be the way they've been. They want change. And that change means learning to integrate, listen to one another, and really follow the conversation. Do you know how many people don't really hear a whole conversation? Why? Because they hear the first sentence and they go off into their thoughts and make associations with their past and then lose track of the conversation and believe they've heard everything. So part of what we need to do now is to teach children to really listen 
I've spent a lot of years in my life telling my children, listen to me. And now they're all adults and parents themselves and I hear them saying to their children, listen to me. Yes, children get very excited. They want to try everything all at once. They want to do lots of things all at once. And yes, we have to teach them discipline. We have to make them organized. We have to help them to structure the world in a way that they can handle it. But we must allow them to express their freedom of spirit. And we must allow them to express their spirit consciousness in their psychic skills. So. Don't shut your child out when they say they see something that you can't see. Stop and say to them, what are you actually seeing? Describe it to me. And then when they do describe it to you, say, that's very interesting. I can't really see it, so do you want to tell me more about it? What else is there to say? Maybe while you're really listening, you'll get a message, something that you need to hear for you not only for your child but for maybe other people as well listening so these little wise minds these little people have lots of spiritual wisdom and they're bringing this into this world yes technology will grow and yes the world will change many people are worried about 2012 i say to them don't worry about what's going to happen next year worry about now. Think about today because upon today you will develop tomorrow and when tomorrow comes you'll know what you want to do because you've enjoyed yesterday. So don't worry about your past. Don't get anxious about things that happened in the past and try and make them happen in the future. Live today. Teach your child to live today teach them to acknowledge that their creative psychic skills are there for a reason. Use them. Write books, tell stories, make videos, do whatever you want to do and develop your character and your personality. That's what they need. They need to feel confident. So I hope you'll listen to this and share this video with other mothers and fathers and if you're a grandma or a grandpa, maybe you can send it to your children, your grandchildren and so on. And help people around the world understand that we all have a purpose, we all have a destiny, and we all are coded. So, are you a hero? Are you the kind of child that wants to go and rescue everyone? Are you a star child that you think about the future and the kinds of things that we could do to improve our way of living and then compare it with the past so you can make sure we don't make mistakes? Or are you an indigo child that loves to be sensitive to everyone around you, tries to share all your creative skills and teach other people how to do it too? Or are you a crystal child, someone who's fed up with the way things were and is focused on making changes very quickly and often gets impatient because you want to do it right away. But ultimately, the crystal child will make the changes in this world. So don't ignore them and don't ignore yourself. Do whatever you want to do. And if you're a liquid crystal child, then you are so, so active. You're clever at whatever you do because you're able to tap into the entire history of mankind. You can do anything you want. You're one of those clever people who just does things because you enjoy doing them. You could dance, you could sing, you can write a book, you can look in a microscope and see something that nobody else sees because you have that kind of ability that comes from your spirit self. So if you're interested, get a copy of Discover Your Baby Spirit, read it for yourself, and then apply it to all your children. You'll be very amazed just how much you learn. So until I see you again, goodbye.